Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. We are HS. So far we have seen the characteristics of one type of transistors that are BJTs, bipolar junction transistors. Today we will see another type of transistors that are JFETs, junction field effect transistors. So JFET as you can see has also three terminals. It is also a semiconductor device. The name of its terminals are namely junction terminal that is the gate terminal this one, drain terminal this one and source terminal this one. JFETs are used as electronically controlled switches for amplifier or voltage control resistors. In this video, you will see its amplification properties. The difference between BGT and JFET, unlike BGTs, JFETs are voltage control devices and BGTs are current control devices. In JFETs, the current flows between the source terminal, this one, and the drain terminal. It is called eddy current. By applying reverse bias voltage to the great terminal, the channel is pinched, which means that VGS is equals to VP. Basically, VGS is gate to source voltage and VP is pinch of voltage, which is given in the data sheet of JFETs. When VGS is equals to VP, the current stops. Actually, it is zero when VGS is equals to VP. All right. When VGS is equals to zero volt, ID is maximum. So you can say that ID is available only when VGS is in between zero volt and VP, that is pinch of voltage. JFETs are sometimes referred as depletion mode devices. This configuration is named as self bias bypass RS configuration. As we can see that the RS that is the source terminal resistor is bypassed by the capacitor for AC analysis. This is the circuit that I have already made it for you to tell you what it does I will make it again for you let's run you see that green is input and the red is output probe red is 180 degree out of phase to that of a input all right so let's make it again you see that from our previous videos of simulation the only difference is in the circuit that is lies in picking the JFET and giving the resistor the value of MEG now file new project name it whatever you like I will name it test Create a blank project. OK. A blank window will appear. Alright. I will create a new simulation profile. Name it whichever you like. I will name it test. No. This will be simulation settings. If it doesn't appear, then you go to here that is add your simulation profile and you will select any run to time and maximum step size. I it's 100 milliseconds and maximum step size will be 100 microseconds. All right, so all we have to pick our components. So it is place part the most important component of our circuit is the JFET it's J2N3819 
eval all right just click it here it will appear and place it here in the window now our other components will be resistors and capacitors this is the place components passive is resistors R you can rotate it by pressing R this is our gate resistor this is our source resistor and this is our drain resistor this is our load resistor now our capacitors this is first bypass capacitor input capacitor output or second bypass capacitor all right you can move it up and also the most important that is bypass capacitor rs for the source resistor now our most important voltage sources voltage source dc voltage source you can rotate it by pressing R like this other second voltage source that is our input voltage source that will be AC sinusoidal voltage source oh it's not AC it's AC but sinusoidal sources voltage source and sine now this one simple we have to connect our components now by using the place wire coupling capacitor first with the resistor and with the gate terminal this is the gate resistor this is the drain resistor that is connecting with the drain terminal source resistor with the source terminal and bypass capacitor with the source resistor it will go here all right now our output coupling capacitor you see here that there is a gap don't worry about it it's just the design of JFET. If you delete this wire, you see that this is the connection. Means the connection is starting from here. So don't worry about it. It's already connected. Again, place wire. And I'm connecting my circuit again. This is the load resistor. This is sinusoidal voltage source with a gate resistor with the source resistor the load resistor now the last component is R as you know that is piece by ground we have to ground the whole circuit this is first now the second to ground our whole circuit place by place by to connect the ground to the circuit now we have to value the components coupling capacitor it will be 0 0.15 microfarad this is r1 that is 10 meg keep this in your mind it is small mg not capital m keep this in your mind this is the most important point of this circuit all right so don't mis make mistakes now the source resistor its value will be 100 this is the bypass capacitor it's 2.2 microfarad then load resistor 10 kilo 
ब्रेन रजिस्टर इट्स वन किलो इट्स अ गुड ओके आर डी सी वोल्टेज सोर्स इट्स वैल्यूज फिफ्टीन वोल्ट नॉट फाइव वोल्ट ओके आवर बी साइनोसाइटल बी ऑफ इट विल बी जीरो बी एम्पलीट्यूड इट्स वैल्यू विल बी टेन मिली वोल्ट नाउ एडजस्टिंग द फ्रिक्वेंसी इट विल बी हंड्रेड हर्ट्स now you have we have to place the voltage props oh this is the last one that will be 10 microfarad second coupling capacitor now it's complete i guess so so run piece wise green is our input red is our output so yes here in the graph you see that green is our input red is our output red is inverted 180 degree out of phase and is amplified so that's all for today thank you very much don't forget to subscribe guys don't forget to subscribe down below and also give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below the dark